So here's the thing, I may be a dermatology PA who spends a lot of my time removing skin cancer, but I'm also an endurance athlete who spends a large amount of time training in the Florida sun. So how do I reconcile this? Is it possible to find a balance? Of course, no one should ever be made to feel bad for enjoying the outdoors. However, it all goes back to having a healthy respect for the sun. So here are some recommendations that I have and I actually do utilize with my training. First of all, regardless of whether or not you are planning to spend time outside, it is really important to get in the habit of wearing a daily sunscreen. You'd be surprised how much sun exposure we get on a day-to-day -day basis, simply walking through parking lots, driving our car, and even sitting by windows. So it's really important to choose a sunscreen that has the three following factors. One, an SPF of at least 30 or higher, something that's based preferably of zinc and titanium, and the most important thing, in my opinion, is something that you actually like to use. You're not going to want to use something that doesn't feel good on your skin, so you want to find something that you like. You'd be surprised how many um, sunscreens out there nowadays aren't the traditional greasy, sticky sunscreen that we remember from when we were kids. Um, zinc and titanium is really important, in my opinion. Um, it's a physical blocker, which is great for people who have sensitive skin. It's also a lot better for the environment, and I think most importantly, the physical blockers of zinc and titanium cover for both UVA and UVB radiation. There are some good chemical blockers out there, but most of them only cover for one or the other, so using a physical blocker is gonna give you the best coverage. The second thing is the recommendation to try to exercise uh, before 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. But I get it, this is not always practical. When I am training for a full Ironman and I have to get in a six hour bike ride, there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be able to listen to that advice. So when I know that I'm gonna be out in the sun during those hours, especially on my bike, I always keep sunscreen in my bike box and I reapply every two hours. The other thing that I like to do is actually I'll wear um, sun protective clothing and in this case, I'll wear sun protective sleeves that I'll put in my arms. Um, Zoot Sports makes a really good um, UPF arm sleeve that I use. And you'd be surprised, even in the Florida sun, it does help to keep my arms much cooler. I'm also particularly aware of the skin on my face. It would be really bad as a dermatologist to come in with a sunburn on my face. Um, I also know that the skin on my face is a lot thinner and more sensitive, so it's really important that I try my best to protect the skin on my face. So, one thing that I always do is wear a hat or visor. I always wear sunglasses, and I also be sure to apply sunscreen not just to my face, but to the tops of my ears, my neck, and also my chest. Women have a tendency to get a lot of sun damage on their chest, so don't forget to put sunscreen there as well. Finally, when I am racing a triathlon, I always take advantage of on-course sunscreen. A lot of long-course triathlons will actually provide sunscreen either on the course or during transition. I also will keep um, sunscreen in my transition bag, and you'd be surprised, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to just reapply. It, it really won't sacrifice your time very much, I promise. Just get the sunscreen on. It's a whole lot better than being both sore and sunburned after a race. 